Howdy, YouTubers. It's Rob Muffet, guys. Guys, I've uh, been thinking about doing some freshwater fishing with a cast net. I've been fishing all my life in Florida. My father fished all his life and so on. Uh, I've been doing a lot of cast netting in salt water, but never in freshwater. I've, on, online, there's a lot of argument over what's right and what's wrong, what's legal in Florida for using a cast net. So I thought I'd just go to the source and see if I could find out exactly what is legal in Florida. Uh, to do with a cast net in fresh water. And then I thought I'd also look at the salt water rules while we're at it. And if any of you are looking at this to get your own information to go fishing with cast net, you want to double check the source just in case the rules have changed. I don't want you guys to get in trouble after I've told you to do something. You want to double check yourself. Uh, so let's look for freshwater fish. The rules are surprisingly clear. Um, for, for uh, game fish may only be taken with pole and line or rod and reel. So in freshwater, you can't catch and keep any game fish. So that's pretty clear. There's no wiggle room. <laughs> Fishermen are good at finding ways around things. Uh, that's why you have these signs that say no fishing or crabbing or swimming or they're, they're always arguing about what they're doing and no, oh, you can't do this again. So that's pretty clear, no game fish except rod and reel, pole and line. Also, they go over what are game fish, black bass, crappy, bluegill, red ear, sunfish, warmouth, red breast, sunfish, spotted sunfish, flyer. I don't know what flyer is. Mud sunfish, long ear sunfish, shadow bass, peacock bass, white bass, striped bass, and sunshine bass. So quite a lot of fish in fresh water. If you catch with a cast net, you cannot keep and you shouldn't be catching. But you can catch non-game fish. Because it says right here, non-game fish may be taken by da, 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 by the use of cast nets. So all those people go crazy telling you you're going to get arrested or you're causing trouble. And you can use cast nets in the south and northeast regions in Citrus County and in the southwest region. Except uh, that possession of use of cast nets in waters adjoining Saddle Creek Fish Management Area, Polk County, confined by... Uh, Morgan Combi Road, U.S. Highway 92, and Fish Hatchery Road are prohibited. <laughs> so pretty much most of uh, Florida you can use um, cast nets to catch the uh, freshwater fish. But it doesn't tell you um, what size net, um, which is unusual. Um, we're going to go over to the um, saltwater to see what size net they, they recommend. You don't use any larger, but I don't see a size limit on the freshwater rules for cast net. But it is limited on what you can catch. But you can, in many places in Florida, use it, a net in freshwater. So let's go over here to um, the saltwater. I'm here at a site that's called FloridaGoFishing.com. And they're giving the sources so you can check yourself whether or not they're up to date if they changed. In this case, it's myfwc.com slash fishing. It's the uh, fish and wildlife uh, people here in Florida. So we're at the nets section. It says here, this is saltwater. Cast nets may be used as harvesting gear for the following species only. Black drum, bluefish, cobia flounder, mullet, Florida pompano, red drum, sheep's head, shrimp, Spanish mackerel, spotted sea trout, weak fish, and unregulated species. If you go to the salt water section, you can see what all are the uh, regulated species, species, which are basically everything <laughs> in salt water. But there are some limits. In fresh water, there's a lot of invasive species, not so much in, in, in salt water. Now, the interesting thing is in the salt water section, they give you a size limit, which I've also seen a lot of arguments over. For cast nets, they tell you you can use a 14-foot net, which I can't use. That's too big for me, fellas. I ain't Superman. It's uh, 14 feet or less uh, stretched from the horn to down to the lead. So basically, stretch out your net and measure from your horn down to the leads at the bottom. And uh, 14 feet, that's a big net. So that's not circumference. That's not a diameter. That's pretty much the, the radii. It's uh, from, from the horn to the, the, uh, the lead. So... But it doesn't say what about the actual mesh size is. I thought I've seen it in the past. I don't see it here. So if anybody is listening to this and they know 
whether or not the regulations have a mesh size for the cast nets and, and where it's located. If you would leave a link, that would be very helpful. Also, you might want to, if anybody has any information about whether you need a license in fresh water and, and salt water for uh, cast nets. I know in salt water you can get a long side fishing uh, license that would probably cover cast nets. It wouldn't, wouldn't cost anything. But in fresh water, I think in, uh, with cane poles, they allow you to have no, no license, I think. But, but I don't know if they do that with cast nets. So you, you might need a fishing license in fresh water with a cast net and pay for one. Now you need one too with, with salt water, but you can get one for free for a long side fishing license. But uh, I, I, I think that may cover nets also, but I may be corrected. I may be wrong. So hopefully this helps out you guys from, from arguing and killing each other what's right and what's wrong with the cast nets. And uh, you can use them with a non-game fish in, in uh, fresh water and in certain species in salt water. In salt water, it's 14 feet or less net. So I uh, hope that helps, guys. And I uh, hope to see you out there. I put on new videos every week. And i uh, got a lot of different things in my playlist and over seven, 600 videos. I've been doing it for 10 years. Hope you liked the video. Come back. And uh, I should be doing some fishing videos real soon. <laughs> Maybe with a throw net. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. See you out there.